after the function that I made that searched files four times faster than Windows does, this function is probably the second biggest sale point of HK and in the things that it can do. Well, let me show it off. HK can fucking change the transparency of Windows. Aside from being cool, I actually think it's quite useful. So, I'm on monkey type, and I watch some podcast in the meantime. So, uh, I can just have monkey type be like half transparent and actually see the podcast uh, on the other end. Let me sh try to show off how would that look. So here I am watching Trash Taste. Uh, then I go to monkey type, make it half transparent. Sometimes you need to do some magic and here it goes. Let's adjust it so it's more visible. Now I can see the boys and practice uh, my typing speed at the same time. I do the same thing for stuff like ISMR as well. Matter of fact, you can make this window transparent too. So there are two levels of transparency. Now I'm not sure what you're seeing behind these two windows, but I'm seeing OBS. You can go for as long as you want to, making them uh, transparent and then untransparent. I made a hotkey on my mouse to make that easier to work with. So it's X button 2 plus uh, the wheel up and down, but only if in this corner, otherwise it's volume. So, let's go and look at how the function actually works. Trends and Proud. It has only one parameter that you specify. Let's actually look at my documentation, because this is a function that I wrote a long-ass time ago, and I haven't looked at it again. So, specify a negative integer to increase transparency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so essentially you specify negative 20 and it's now more transparent. You specify 20, it's less transparent. So, I go uh, wheel down, it's minus 20, minus 20, minus 20, so on, and then back. So you can specify whatever you like. Maybe you like one for, well, you would have to scroll a lot to change something, but maybe you like the bit by bit nature of one. Maybe you like 50, like big changes that are easily visible. It's up to you. Maybe you will not even have that on the mouse. And there it is, you can do it. How this works. So you get the current transparency of the current window. It's stored in how trans. I do indeed have a trans flag hanging on my wall. It's not July, but I really like the name of my function. So if it isn't zero, or rather if it is zero, meaning I think, yeah, meaning you can't see the window at all, then you set it to complete untransparency, meaning you can completely see it. Now, how trans is the current window's transparency level and plus what increment? So say it's 150, you pass what increment uh, to 20, now it's 170. If you pass the negative what increment, it's negative 20. So it would be 130. Well, simple math basically. Uh, 
error handling essentially if this variable which is the transparency that's now going to be there if it's more the than the possible transparency level so if it's less than one then set it to one uh, if we go over 255 it's actually off because it works better I don't quite remember but essentially off is better than 255 meaning disable transparency uh, this is so I can still scroll up as I'm currently doing and nothing happens I get no errors it just continually sets the current windows transparency level to off meaning not transparent same thing uh, if I keep scrolling down, the transparency level of the VS Code window uh, is continues to be 1. I get no errors, and I can bring it back. And now we win set transparent of this level to the current window. And we try. Not sure why, but maybe there could be some errors. Basically, some safety. And sys, a function that goes with trans and proud it makes the current window sys so not trans meaning when set transparent to 255 off instead of this should be better not sure why i don't use that i probably should it doesn't really matter in case you want to make a hotkey used to be on shift caps lock for me to make a window completely untransparent. However, I'm fine enough with just scrolling upwards. Now, if you like this idea, I would be really interested in seeing how creatively some of you can use it. Uh, the code to this is in my repo. I leave a link to my GitHub profile under every video in the description go to lib lib v2 image and here you will find these two functions and if you don't for some reason well you can see the code <laughs> uh, okay so leave in the comments how you personally find this useful leave a like if you enjoyed this video and definitely subscribe so you don't miss my videos Goodbye.